Namaskar my dear students. Today in the quick review section, we will be discussing an important topic of FPD that is management of tilted abutments. It is one of the important short note which is asked in the theory exam. One of the favorite question of the examiner during the viva and also a very common clinical situation which we come across. So we will be discussing the academic as well as the clinical perspective of managing these kind of abutments. First of all, what is an abutment? An abutment is a tooth, a portion of the tooth or that portion of the dental implant which serve to support and retain a prosthesis. Whenever we are planning for a fixed prosthesis, a thorough assessment of the abutment tooth is very, very important before proceeding with the tooth preparation. The points that we have to assess or evaluate are first the root length and the morphology of the abutment that we are planning, the pulpal outline of the abutment, the periodontal ligament space around the planned abutments, the alveolar bone which is present, then tilt of the abutments or the parallelism of the abutments. Okay, if there is any residual roots present in the saddle area that we have to rule out, any impacted or supernumerary tooth which is present in the saddle area, then Kiri's evaluation of the abutment for the long-term prognosis. If the abutment is endodontically treated, we need to evaluate the endodontic treatment. Now, this all assessment is done by clinically investigating each abutment tooth. Radiographs are made and the pulpal health, it can be evaluated by response to the thermal and electrical stimulation. After assessment of the abutment, there are certain questionable or challenging abutments that needs special management. The first is the pyre abutment. Pyre abutment when the edentular space is present on both the sides of the tooth creating a lone freestanding abutment as we can see in the picture. Second are the tilted molars. We will be discussing in detail about tilted molars in this video. Coming to the canine replacement. Canine replacement is considered as a difficult fixed partial denture because the canine it often lies outside the inter abutment axis and creates a challenge. Then comes the cantilever FPD. One which has one or more abutments at one end of the bridge while the other end is unsupported as we can see in the image. Next are the hypoplastic teeth where there is enamel hypoplasia when the enamel is not formed properly or has formed incorrectly that also uh, creates a uh, challenge. Then periodontally compromise. The teeth uh, which have more than 3 mm of the probing depth, they are considered as periodontally compromised and they need management. Last comes the endodontically treated teeth. They are used as abutments for the FPDs, but we will have to consider how much tooth decay has already occurred, how much tooth is present, that they can be used as abutments for the FPDs. Tilted molar abutments. These we will be discussing in detail. Now, what are tilted molar abutments? When the loss of permanent mandibular first molar occurs, you know, because the caries is the most common reason for the extraction of mandibular first molar. Now, if this edentular space is ignored, then what happens? The second molar, it will tilt mesially, okay, with the eruption of the third molar also, okay, and the opposing first molar it will supra erupt in some cases okay so then it becomes very difficult or impossible to make a satisfactory fixed prosthesis because we are not able to get the positional relationship we are not able to get the parallel path of insertion without interferences from the adjacent teeth now let us see how we will manage these tilted molar abutments. We have five treatment options for managing tilted molar abutments. The first is the orthodontic uprighting. This is the most recommended method, the most biological conservative method. Okay, in MCQs, if it is asked, this is the most recommended method. 
second proximal half crown third telescopic crown fourth non rigid connectors and fifth cross pin and wing pointing okay now you can remember these treatment options by a mnemonic orthodontics provides tooth alignment non invasive and conservatively o for orthodontic uprighting p for proximal half crown t for telescopic crown n for non rigid connector and c for cross pin and wing pointing let us discuss these options one by one the first treatment option is orthodontic uprightening you know if the tilting is severe more extensive corrective measures are required then the treatment of choice is the uprightening of the molar by orthodontic uprightening the orthodontic uprightening it not only places the abutment tooth in a better position for the preparation but it also eliminates any kind of bony defects along the mesial surface of the root this is the big advantage then third uprightening is best accomplished by the use of a fixed appliance what is that a helical uprightening spring it is inserted into the tube on the banded molar and then it is activated by hooking it over the wire on the interior segment okay then this is followed by the open coil spring to complete the uprightening and bringing the tooth in alignment okay the average treatment time by orthodontics is around 3 to 6 months the anchorage for the uprightening can also be obtained by using the mini screw implants proximal half crowns if the orthodontic correction is not possible or if it is possible to achieve only the partial correction still a fpd can be made okay one such option is proximal half crown proximal half crown is used as a retainer on the distal abutment the three quarter crown can be planned with the distal surface uncovered okay but the limitation of the these proximal half crown is that first the distal surface should be intact there should be no caries then only we can go for these crowns and second the patient it is the patient's responsibility of keeping that area clean so that there is no caries on that surface one more thing if there is a severe marginal ridge height discrepancy between the distal of the second and the mesial of the third molar as a result of tipping then the proximal half crown is a contraindication telescopic crown now what is the telescopic crown just understand from this image now this is a distal abutment which was tilted this will be prepared and then a coping will be made which will be parallel to the mesial abutment and over that the telescopic crown as a part of the fpd will be cemented on it okay so for making the telescopic crown first we have to do the full crown preparation of the tilted abutment such that the preparation is along the long axis of the tilted molar then the inner coping is made to fit the tooth preparation such that the coping is parallel to the mesial abutment over that we will plan a full crown or a proximal half crown also as a retainer for fpd which is fitted over the coping now in the image we can see that the abutment over that the telescopic coping is present and over that the telescopic crown which is the retainer of the fpd will be cemented non rigid connector you know non rigid connector is another solution to the problem of managing the tilted molars in this a full crown preparation is done on the molar that is the tilted molar with its path of insertion uh, along the long axis of the tilted tooth a box form is prepared on the distal surface of the premolar okay to accommodate the keyway in the distal of the premolar you know this connector is never given on the mesial aspect of the tipped molar because this could lead to even greater tipping of the tooth it is often asked in multiple choice question now this is very useful is that that when the uh, molar has both lingual and mesial tilt then the non rigid connector works very well
the limitation of this using the non rigid connector is that excessive etooth preparation is required for placing the non rigid connectors cross pin and wing fpd now in this both the abutments they are prepared with a different path of insertion then the fpd is made in two parts first is the distal retainer with a wing as we can see in the picture and second is the retainer pontic segment in the mesial part the distal retainer and the wing it is cemented first over that the retainer pontic is seated and then it is cemented the pin then is seated into the pin hole the main drawback as we can see in the pictures also that the technique is very technique sensitive it is very difficult to achieve technically clinically most recommended method of managing the tilted molars now let us discuss the techniques that we have discussed orthodontic uprightening proximal half crown telescopic crown non rigid connectors cross pin and wing pontic if we talk about clinically practically orthodontic uprightening should always be the choice given to the patient because that is biologically very acceptable and good results are there in 3 to 6 months okay now if it is not possible the other four options are less acceptable when we talk about uh, in our clinics so what we can do we do the mesial reduction of the third molar okay to form a path of insertion we do the proximal reduction of the proximally tilted tooth for this most of the time we will have to go for the endodontic treatment of the tilted molar so this is how we manage in our clinics so that's all for this topic i'm sure now there are no doubts related to the tilted molar abutments Uh, please like and share the video with your friends and your juniors you can give your feedback and the topics you want me to cover uh, in the comment section wish you success today and always